Why is China talking about war with the US? China has a new foreign minister, Qin Gang. He is the hand-picked candidate of the Chinese president, Xi Jinping. Qin Gang recently said that a war with the US is inevitable, and he blamed it on the US for that. Why is China talking so openly about a war with the US now? Do they feel they are in a better position to wage a war? It does seem to be the case. Let's see why China feels emboldened by the current situation. 1. Ukraine-Russia War The Ukraine-Russia War is the most important reason that China feels that the US and its allies are in an extremely difficult position to oppose China. The US and its Western allies have put all their efforts in defeating Russia. Though the US openly states that the real threat is China, and Russia is a much weaker opponent, they have been obsessed with defeating Russia. This obsession with Russia has made both Western Europe and the US economically weaker, with high inflation and increased debt. Their military ammunitions have also been sent to Ukraine, depleting their reserves and putting a strain on their capacity to strike China on a parallel war. 2. Strong Russia-China Ties Russia and China have always had deep suspicion of each other for several decades, in fact, going back to a few centuries. Even as late as early 2020, Russia accused China of stealing its military weapons and their design. It has changed completely under the new open warfare between the West and Russia. Russia feels threatened and has genuine fears of being pushed into a corner in its conflict with Ukraine. Their only major ally is China. And China has utilized it fully to its benefit. Now, Russian oil and gas flows into China at a very reduced cost, as well as Russian advanced military designs are being transferred to China. Russia has nowhere to go, but China. China has made the best use of it, and is even paying it with their own currency. 3. Dependency of the US on China During the Trump era, the US finally realized how dependent it is on China and its manufacturing sector. It appeared the US had lost its freedom when it came to China, and was completely at China's mercy, even for basic pharma ingredients or electronic components. The US finally decided to start the decoupling process to a certain extent. However, there were too many opposing forces against this idea of decoupling between the US and China. Over several decades, China had cultivated a habit of rewarding the US corporates, Wall Street brokers, hedge fund managers, Hollywood, leaders in business and sports, intellectuals, major press and media, several top US education institutions, and think tanks, with plenty of money. So, there has been a very strong reaction against the decoupling, and several efforts to sabotage. Currently, the efforts of decoupling has hardly started, and the US is still completely under China's control. Before the decoupling process gains full ground, China may want to engage with the US in a war or threaten. If the US government is too weak, then it loses its ability to claim superior in the world. 4. Lack of democracy in China China itself is going through tough economic times, and there's huge unemployment, especially with the youth. However, China has increased its defense budget to a new historic high. It's easy for China to do whatever they want, because they are not answerable to their own people. When Mao was in power in China, China involved in multiple conflicts, with both the superpowers, the US and the Soviets, as well as India, despite having a very weak economy. The number of Chinese deaths or their suffering is not an issue in a communist-controlled China. China can wage a war for a very long time, with heavy losses, or starvation to their people, because the Chinese people have no way to protest it. This is what happened in the Korean War, and it was the US, which initiated the peace process, allowing the Chinese to believe that the US surrendered. The Chinese still celebrate their victory in the Korean War. We can only hope that the US and the West have a better handle on the China situation. Unlike their current position of having no proposal to stop the Ukraine conflict, we can only hope that they have a plan to stop a potential war with China. 
the war between the US and China will be devastating to the entire world. Thanks for watching.